Hey everyone, it's Steve with Stop Motion Sensei, and today I have possibly the easiest quick build I have shown you guys so far. Today we are going to be building this stove. You need five pieces, let's show them to you. These are all the pieces you need for this build. Now I guess I lied to you, this is probably a sixth piece if you count it that way, but these come together. So there's that piece for you that's gonna be the bottom of your stove. We're just gonna take these flat plates and they're gonna be our burners. And there you go, a stove and an oven. And I'm gonna show you guys, if you wanna put a pot or a pan on this build, it's very, very easy. Uh, your main character uh, is cooking some pad thai and people break into his house and he's gotta smack some of them around with a frying pan, right? We're just gonna pop one of these off and replace it with one of these studs. Put that stud there. Toss your frying pan on your stove, and now that sticks there. Now I want to show you guys something about this build really quick before we end. I'm gonna put it on a movie set for you, just like we would if we were doing a stop motion film. If I drop this onto my movie set here on this little spot I have for it, and I open my oven, it sits just fine. Now this is our wooden floor technique, our hardwood floor technique that I showed you guys in a previous video. And as you can see, that looks nice, it opens nice, but it is because we have this piece underneath it now. If you are doing this on a different type of floor, just like a normal Lego floor, and I put this down, it's not gonna sit there. And this is gonna keep it from actually hooking in, right? So what I need to do is toss a uh, two by two plate underneath it, or you could always do four studs as well. And then if I put it on our set, our stove is gonna open again. And here's one last tip before we end. This build is nice because you can also make a dishwasher with it. All you need to do is toss on the color tile on top as the rest of your countertop. And then obviously, you can fill in the rest of your kitchen, make everything look really nice, and you've got a stop motion movie set. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like below and subscribe to the channel for more cool builds like this. In upcoming quick builds, I'm actually going to show you how to build this sink and this refrigerator, and I'm always coming at you with stop motion tips and tricks. Now, if you're serious about becoming a stop motion master and you wanna take your brick films to the next level, look no further than the Stop Motion Sensei Essential Course. You can find it on our site at stopmotionsensei.com. It's 69 bucks, costs less than your favorite Lego set, and I will show you all of the basic techniques you need to take your brick films to the next level and really, really make them pop on screen. Thanks for watching, guys, as always, and I will see you in our next quick build.